Matthew. Sure. Matthew. Come on, I got your back, bro. Let's go. Oh. Got him. Oh my goodness. You're out, boy. Matthew. Just grab the flag then. Matthew, Show I'm me. talking to Mom. you. Mom, Mom, what are you, what the heck? What are you doing? How did the interview go? The, I didn't go. Matthew. What? Your father pulled a lot of strings to get you that interview. Mom, it's fine, okay? I'd rather stay in here anyways. It's easier. Gosh. Can you grab my laundry on the way out, please? I, uh, starting to smell in here a little bit. Yeah, I know, guys. My mom just came in. Don't you start talking about my mom like that. Ready for our run? Run? You promised we'd go for a run today? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I, uh, a little busy. Matthew. Dad, I... Dad, you know I hate running. Besides, it's so much easier to stay inside. We have to do something. He is always taking the easy route. I mean, he is 30 and he's acting like he's 12. I know, but how are we supposed to fix that? With some tough love. So close here. Yeah. Just keep moving. Come on, bro, we're so close, let's drop it in. Bro, we're so close. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew! Yeah, I got your back, man. Go. Ugh. What are you doing? Mom, I'm just about to win! We need to talk. Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Can we do it later? No. We're gonna talk right now. Fine. Fine. What? Well, we were talking and we, well, we just- You need to move out. You're kicking me out. No, no, no. <laughs> we're not kicking you out. We're just, we're just helping you find your new home. And, and we're gonna pay the first three months rent, you know, to help you get set up at up to $1,200 per month. But after that, you are on your own. Are you serious? This is, this is crazy. I don't know how to survive like that. That's gonna be so hard. Life is hard. And like everyone else in the world, you will survive by working. You have two weeks to find a new place. It's time you earn some independence. No, I don't, I don't want independence. Did you think of that? I just want to stay here. It's easy. I like it here. Don't you want me here, Mom? Honey, this is for the best. And, and I know you don't see it right now, but you will. You will. Right? Two weeks. Honey, today is your last day. Did you um, find a place yet? Yeah, actually, uh, I did. It's right here. I'll just, I'll give him a call. Yeah. Hello? 
Hello, yeah, I'm calling about the apartment. Is it uh, still available? It is, are, are you interested? Yeah, I, I am. Um, first things first, I don't have a job, but I, I do have the first three months rent. Uh, but after that, I, um, I, just, I just don't know how I'm gonna pay you. Oh, well, uh, I understand. You know, I'm willing to be flexible if you're willing to help me out around the house a bit. Wow, uh, really? Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm out of town until next week, but if you want to move in sooner, my neighbor can get you all set up in the place. That, that would be great. Um, thank you. You did it! Oh. Log it in, baby. We are good to go. Yes, let's go. Get in there, baby. Woo! Oh, man. Keep moving. Yeah, oh, hold on, hold on. Cover me. Must be Matthew. Yeah, um, you're Owen, right? Yeah, it's so good to finally meet you, man. I see you've made yourself a home. Yeah, um, gosh, this place is great. Good, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Uh, don't let me interrupt your night. I gotta go unpack for my trip and do lots of laundry, so. Uh, it's really nice to meet you, Matthew. Always go to work this early? Yeah, most mornings. Looks like you're an early bird too, huh? It's the best feeling, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. All right, well, I'll see you later. Hey, just in time. You hungry? For pizza? <laughs> Always. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. One of these two. Thanks, man. More of club. Yeah, right? Hey, can I ask you something? Mm. Have you always been disabled? No, not always. I was in an accident when I was 24. But even now, I don't, I don't really feel disabled. But you are. 
<laughs> My bad. Yeah, it was crazy, but <laughs> it depends on your perspective, I guess. How do you mean? Okay. I may technically be disabled, but I've never let that take away my independence, right? Sure, it might make doing certain things a little hard, but I would never let this define who I am. But you could just take the easy route. I mean, you make good money, you could just hire someone to come in here and, I don't know, do your laundry, make your bed, help you shower, do all that stuff. Yeah, I guess I could do that, sure, but, um... The easy way isn't always the best way. I may be in this chair, but I'm still my own man. And that means something to me, right? And if I can be independent, I'm happy. Yeah, I guess I just never thought of it like that. You know, it's funny. The only thing that I really missed from before the accident is running. Yeah? Yeah, I was a good runner. Oh, man. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Matthew has been <laughs> just the best. He is the best roommate. He helps me out around the place. He he does the laundry. Uh, whoa, you, whoa. Wait, you are talking about <laughs> our Matthew? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He used to leave his clothes off the floor in his bedroom. Hey wow. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I had to help my boss get a project out the door. Wow. Look at you. My boy has become a man. Yes. Uh, Matthew, we are so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, good to see that. Good to see you, son. I gotta ask you. Yeah? What caused you to change so drastically? <laughs> I guess I learned that independence, even though it is really difficult, is important. And as a wise man once told me, the easy way isn't always the best. Who's hungry? Shall we eat? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> you 
get for us, Owen? Uh, lasagna. Oh. Here we go. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday! Uh, what is that? That's your new car. Congratulations on getting your driver's license, sweetie. Is this a joke? I know it doesn't look like much, honey, but it's a great starter car for a new driver. See, even if you ding it up a little bit, no one's even gonna notice. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> stop playing around. Where's my real car? <gasps> this is your real car. This is ridiculous. You can't expect me to be seen driving that junk around town. Oh God, I think I'm gonna be sick. Don't be so dramatic. You asked for a new car for your 16th birthday and you got one. You should be grateful. I wanted a nice car, not a rust bucket on wheels. It's not like we can't afford it. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. Both your father and I started with used cars and I am grateful that we did. But mom, this is so embarrassing. Do you know what will happen if I'm seen driving this thing? My reputation will be ruined. You should be grateful, Samantha. Most kids your age don't even get a car. We're talking about me, remember? I don't care about most kids. Daddy, please don't make me drive this thing. I'm sorry, sweetie. You're just gonna have to drive this for a while. Pout all you want. It's this car or no car at all. Your choice. You think we're being too hard on her? We can't give in to her just because she throws a tantrum. She needs to be grateful for what she has. Hey, trust me. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I love this. It's so cute. <laughs> hey! Ew. Did you walk here? I thought your parents got you a car for your birthday. Ooh, fun. Can I see it? They did. It's just super expensive, so I parked it far away. So no one dings it. Hey, watch it! I am so sorry. You're sorry? Do you know how much these shoes cost? Obviously she doesn't. I mean, look at that outfit. What, did it cost you like 10 bucks? Well, <laughs> these are $800 shoes. I, I'm really sorry, Samantha. I, I mean, it was an accident. Sorry doesn't fix my shoe. Either you pay me for new ones or clean them right now. What's it gonna be? <laughs> you missed a spot? <laughs> I can't believe you actually did it. What a loser. <laughs> some help getting it started? You know about cars? Not all cars, but my dad used to drive this kind of car and I learned some tricks. Pop the hood. <laughs> How did you do that? Um, it was just a uh, loose starter wire. Those happen all the time, but it's a very easy fix. Thanks. Seriously, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Wait, why are you all the way out here in the first place? Oh, I'm walking home. 
Cutting through these streets saves me some time. You don't have a car? Nope. But your parents won't give you a ride? Uh, well, my dad just lost his job, so we had to um, sell the car in order to make rent for this month. So. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's OK. <laughs> well, you live close by then. I am on 11th by Michigan. Th that's over 10 miles away. I know. It um, takes a while to get there, but it's OK. Are you angry at your dad for making you walk? No. Um, I know my dad is trying his best. And besides, it's like my dad always tells me, in life, there's always something to be grateful for. But you don't have a car. But I do have legs, so that's something. Dana? Samantha? What are you doing here? I asked around for your address. I figured since you helped me, the least I could do was give you a ride this morning, especially after how awful I was to you yesterday. Really? You'd, um, you'd risk being seen with me? Yep. And not just today, because I am giving you a ride every day until your dad buys a new car. That's really sweet of you, but um, I don't want to be a burden. I mean, who knows how long it'll take my dad to make up that kind of money. Not as long as you think. Uh, last night, I told my father about your situation. Oh. Uh, turns out his company's hiring. He said he'd love to give your dad the job, if he's interested, that is. R really? Yeah, it's a really great job and pays well. At least, that's what my dad said. So it shouldn't take long for things to turn around for you and your family. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. I mean, this is going to change our lives. <laughs> uh, well, come on. We have a history test <laughs> first period. <laughs> We have a pretty great daughter, don't we? Well... Well what? <laughs> Is there something you'd like to admit? <laughs> yes, you were right, as always, dear. <laughs> wow, thank you all. Thank you all so much. While I am grateful for this award and what it symbolizes, I didn't do it alone. Well, you truly are an inspiration to all of us. And as we ask all the winners of this award, who had the biggest impact on your life? Wow. That's a good question. There was a time in my life when I had nothing. But if it wasn't for an exceptional act of kindness shown to me at a very low point in my life, I wouldn't be standing here today. All I ever wanted to do was achieve just enough so that I can be in a position to give back to others. And finally, repay back the debt that I owe to the man who changed my life. Very good. This was a surprise. I expected more from you, Josh. You know, you need to pass this class to graduate from high school. You should take this seriously. How'd you get that bruise? All right, have a nice day, everyone.
Julie? Here. Josh? Has anybody seen Josh today? Um, he wasn't in homeroom. Maybe he moved. <laughs> now let's be nice. It's not my fault he's such a loner. Yeah, he's weird and kinda creepy. <laughs> what did I just say? <sighs> Mr. Perkins is better when he's not in class. He's such a freak. <laughs> Don't just sit there with that stupid look on your face. Oh, I get it. Oh, you think you're so smart than me, huh? Well, I got news for you, kiddo. <laughs> you dumber than a bag of rocks. You ain't never gonna amount to nothing. You know why? Cause you's a loser! Only thing you good for is what? Sitting in my house, eating my food? See, not only you stupid, you not even a real man. A real man would just sit there and take that. Unless you're a sissy. Are you a sissy? Huh? Is that what you are? You just gonna sit there with that stupid look in your face? Take it like a chump? Alright. If it's like that, get out. Get out of my house! Josh. You okay? Hey, um, I'm sorry. I should have seen the signs sooner. I should have known what you were going through. It's not your fault. It's just how life goes, so. But it doesn't have to be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Maybe, but it is happen a lot? Three, four times a week. I wind up on the streets until he sobers up. Then I'll apologize and he'll take me back. And this happened the night before you got a D on that test? Just slip right there. You know, I was actually stopping by to bring you something. You mind waiting here? Be back in 30 minutes? Not going anywhere. All right. You dropped this in class yesterday. Figured you'd want it back. Um, oh, there's, there's gotta be a mistake. This is, this is my wallet, but this isn't my cash or train ticket. They're yours now. You know, no matter what your father tells you, they're not dumb. In fact, you might be the brightest student in my class. No, that's not true. It is. You know, there's nothing that you can't accomplish if you set your mind to it. You've just never had anybody in your corner that's believed in you before. Till now. It's your birthday today, right? It is. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I haven't celebrated since I was a kid. Well, you're an adult now, legally. Which means you don't have to stay here any longer. It is a chance for you to go off and start a new life for yourself. I, 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 I can't accept this. I, uh, consider it a birthday present to make up for all your past birthdays, okay? It's my entire savings. It's $10,000. No, I, I can't take your savings. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I insist. You take that money and you go make a new start for yourself. One without your father. Why are you doing this for me, man? Because everybody needs somebody who believes in them. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna pay you back for this, Mr. Perkins. I swear I will. You wanna know the best way to pay me back? You go off and you create a life for yourself that's worth living. Become a successful man that I know that you are destined to be. Then we'll call it even. <laughs> Get out of here. You're gonna be late. Train gets here in an hour. Thanks again. For everything. I'm gonna make you proud one day. I know that you will. I did everything I could to live up to Mr. Perkins. I hope to return back to Los Angeles to share my successes with him, but sadly, um, Mr. Perkins, he, uh, he passed away before I had a chance. Well, that was a tremendously moving story. I think I, I speak for everyone in this room when I say thank you for sharing that with us. But I also think I speak for everyone in this room because we were wondering and if Mr. Perkins were here right now, what would you say to him? Um, I would tell him um, that his act of kindness changed not only my life, but my entire world. He showed me that no matter how dark things get, that there's still good people in this world. And for someone like me who grew up only knowing pain and fear that that I can learn that there's a light and there's kindness in this world and that is a beautiful thing and Mr. Perkins he showed me that Wish I had a chance to tell them myself. Well, Josh, we have someone here who might be able to help with that. Mr. Perkins? Well, you're alive? Hi, Josh. Long time no see. I thought that you were dead. Nope. Still alive. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me in the past years. All I did was believe in you. You did everything else yourself. <laughs> Unbelievable. Where is this guy? He's taking forever. Calm down. I'm sure he'll be here in a second. Oh, a sack. I'll be starved to death by then. Hey, Johnny, does it need to be that loud? Turn it down. Do you need to be that loud? People are literally staring. So what? Let them. I don't know these people. All right, sorry for the wait, folks. What well, can I get started for you folks today? Uh, yeah, well, we've been ready to order for about 10 minutes now. <laughs> oh, uh, my apologies. Uh, I was on break. What can I get started for you today? Uh, our son will have the spaghetti marinara, child portion, with um, garlic bread and a Sprite. And I'll have a red sangria with um, a Caesar salad. All right. Can I have the dressing on the side? Sure thing, ma'am, yeah. Oh, and um, can you change the romaine for kale? No problem at all, thank you. And uh, for you, sir? Are you gonna write any of this down? Oh, no, I'll remember it. Are you sure? I remember it, babe. Okay. I will have the chicken fettuccine alfredo, and to drink, I'll have an old-fashioned bullet rye with three black cherries on a toothpick and no orange slice. Okay. Sounds great. I'll uh, make sure to get all those things out for you. In the meantime, I'll bring your drinks. And don't forget the black cherries. Very important. I just don't understand. Why can't you just write things down? Is this guy trying to give me anxiety or what? I swear, he doesn't get the order right. Uh... I am sure it is going to be just fine. Oh, and um, don't forget, after this, we're gonna drop Johnny off at your mom's and go straight to therapy. Oh, 
gosh, I can't believe that I signed up for this thing. It is a complete waste of time, not to mention a waste of a hundred bucks. You agreed to it because you promised to work on your anger issues. I don't have anger issues. All right, one red sangria for you, ma'am, and uh, an old-fashioned with three cherries and a orange slice. <laughs> what is this? This is not what I ordered. Oh, uh, you, you said three cherries and an orange slice, right? No, I said no orange slice, and I said three black cherries. Do these look black to you? Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You see, if you would have just written down what I was telling you, instead of trying to memorize everything, you wouldn't have messed up. Uh, my apologies. I'll get a new one for you. I'm so sorry. It's really fine. It's fine. Unbelievable. I'm trying to help this guy out. I need you to calm down. I am calm. Oh, the trash. I mean, she waits until the fourth quarter of the most important moment of the game to ask me to take out the trash. And I don't understand what's the difference if I take it out, you know, an hour later. Maybe she's not asking you to take out the trash because it's an urgent matter, but maybe because she values feeling supported in managing the household responsibilities together. Yes. Thank you. Okay, well then, I value watching the game in peace. Is that too much to ask for? Oh. Okay, let's change the topic. You mentioned that there was an incident at the restaurant. Restaurant? There was no incident at the restaurant. You slammed the table. The silverware almost fell to the ground. Everyone was staring at you. <laughs> See, there you go again. Acting so overdramatic, everyone. There was like three people in the restaurant. Overdramatic. You scared our Johnny. Is that really the kind of behavior you want to teach our son? Tim, there's no reason to get riled up. I do see you rising easily. Perhaps we can explore where that may come from? It's 100% his parents. Is that true, Tim? Did your parents fight a lot? Make a play, come on! You still haven't taken the trash out, Harold? Not now, Dolores. Can't you see there's three minutes left in the game? It would take you one minute to take out the trash. Just stop your yapping, okay? I can't hear what's going on. I wouldn't on. be yapping if you just do what you're supposed to just do. Nag, 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 okay? Can you leave me alone for five seconds? Will you help me in the kitchen for one minute of your life? Get lost. I will help you back to the kitchen where you That's belong. That's it. None of this anymore. I'm not gonna let you just sit here and watch the television. Tim. Tim, did your parents fight a lot? Maybe, I mean, oh, so what? You know, I mean, they would argue one minute and then five minutes later, you know, everything was back to normal. Look, that's life, you know? And people get over it. It's water under the bridge. No, sometimes there are long-term consequences. Mm -hmm. to being subjected to that much anger. Oh yeah? Like what? Huh? My father would be turning over in his grave if he knew that I was spending $100 an hour to hear my wife complain about the trash. This is absolutely ridiculous. Tim, why don't we try taking it down or not? No, 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 I can't. I can't do this. I can't have you two tag teaming against me. Tag teaming you. Tag teaming me. I feel like a punching bag right now. You're the punching bag. I am the punching bag. You know, and until there's some real consequences about my anger issues, I, I'm, I'm done with therapy. I'm done. Look, I'm, I'm going to the car. Do you see what I'm dealing with? I honestly don't know what to do anymore. His anger is never physical, is it? No. No. He's, um, he's a lot of bark, but no bite. I promise. I would leave in a heartbeat if it got to that. Well, based on what I saw today, at some point there will be some serious consequences to his anger issues. There already are. He's just the last one to see it. I agree. But he'll have to face it sooner or later. And when he does, I want you to have him open this in your backyard. What is it? The lesson he needs to learn. Hey, Tim, are the TPS reports done? I need them for the meeting later. 
Yes, I am aware, but I have a lot on my plate right now, so... I understand, but the reports are crucial for the meeting. Can you try prioritizing them? Can't you see that I'm swamped right here? I'll get to it when I can. Okay, sorry. I was just trying to make sure everything runs smoothly. You know, you're always poking around, Sarah. Always trying to micromanage. I don't need you breathing down my neck. You know, when the last time I checked, you're not my boss. Barbara is. I'm not trying to micromanage you. We're a team, and I thought we could help each other out. Oh, well, that is just so touching. Look, the office hero. <laughs> Always trying to help everyone out. I was just trying to remind you of your task, that's all. Well, I'm not a kid, and I don't need reminding. But congrats, Sarah. You succeeded to get on my last nerve. Not yours. Give it back to him. Hey. Is everything okay? You're not usually off this early. What's going on? I got fired. What? It's okay. Look, I'm actually glad about it. I mean, that place was so toxic anyway. You know, I should have quit a long time ago. Why did you get fired? Tim? Tim! Because I lost my temper. But it wasn't my fault, it was just Sarah. It's this girl, she thinks she, she acts like she's my boss. She's always giving me a hard time. So I got upset and Barbara didn't like it. See, this is the real consequences we've been talking about in therapy. Tim, this has gone too far. Didn't you hear what I just said? I said it wasn't my fault. It's never your fault. Take responsibility. I warned you, if you want to play, you get your own choice. Don't take my grandsons. What is your mother doing? Defending Johnny, what else? Hey, hey, lady. Don't be yelling at my kid. Oh, heck no. No, you let no, him play. Listen. Take care. It's my mom you're talking to, buddy. Well, maybe your mama should learn not to be yelling at people's children. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you should be a better parent to your kid. Lower your voice. Come on, let's get out of here. That's it. Walk away, buddy. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was him. Me? What? I was defending my mom and my son. Yeah, but you took it too far and you didn't have to. I'm sorry, but you guys have to go. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very sorry, but you guys need to go. What? Are you hearing what? I'm... <sighs> I, I, will, I will get him. You guys need to... You lost your job, Tim. On the same day that you got kicked out of the play center. All because of your anger issues. You don't see anything wrong with that? I should have handled it better, man. Thank you. Now that you can finally see that, I, I guess you can have this. What is this? I'm not sure. The therapist said to give it to you once you started to realize the consequences of your temper. What am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea. Um, but, oh, good, there's a note here. Let's see. Um, hammer a nail into the fence every time anger issues arise. When more than a month goes by without a single nail, call me. Is this guy serious? I don't know. All right. <sighs> you can give it a try. Hmm. It's not funny. I know, honey. It's just, it's been a lot. It hurts. I love you. Come on, let's try again.
I did it. Mm -hmm. A month has gone by, and not a single nail. I am so proud of you, Tim. I can't wait to tell the therapist about all of your progress. The therapist? We don't need him anymore. I'm better now. Well, we aren't going to him. He's, um... Oh, this guy. <laughs> That's a lot of nails. Yeah, well, I mean, the good news is Tim is doing much better. Tim hasn't lost his temper in, I mean, a while now. Yeah, that's right, you know, so... It's sad to say that we're probably gonna have to end the therapy session, but it was great seeing you. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, what? I agree with you, Tim. You don't need me anymore. But there's one more thing I'd like you to do. Take out all the nails. For what? You'll see. You know, I was just starting to like you, man. Now you got me making me do all this kind of stuff. I mean, who do you think you are? Mr. Miyagi with the wax on and the wax off? I mean, what's next? You're gonna make me dig a hole and then fill it back up? You know, this is really turning out to be a waste of time. Thank you. You're welcome. My son appreciates you. You know, I have wanted a pool, so if you want to have him dig a hole, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. There. Are you happy now? In our last session, you mentioned that your parents fighting all the time was no big thing. Five minutes later, everything would return back to normal. Water under the bridge. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, it's true. You know, people argue and then everything goes back to normal. So what? The point I'm trying to make is that even if you take out the nails, the holes are still there. What are you talking about? Babe, I, I think what the doctor's trying to say is that there's permanent damage left behind when you get that angry. Hello? Wait, 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 wait slow down. What? Okay, fine, I'll be right there. It was my mom, something happened at the play center. We gotta go. What happened? My kid got hit is what happened. Mom, what did you do? It wasn't me. Johnny hit him. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, I'm making a new Roblox game. Why? You spent way too much time on the computer. I hate seeing you stare at this screen all weekend. But this is what I love doing. I want to build Roblox games. It's just such a waste of time. Wait, uh, can I please just have some more money for Robux? I really need to hire someone to help me finish this. No, I cannot give you any more money for this dumb game. We barely have enough after we pay all of our bills. So if you want money, you can get a side job like I did when I was a kid. This is a side job. Lots of people make money off of Roblox. Well, I haven't seen you make anything. So you can wait for your allowance until next week like your brother and sister have to. Now get off the computer, I'm serious. Can I please just finish this? I'm right in the middle of it. Fine, but when dinner's ready, off the computer. Got it? Got it. <sighs> oh, not you two. Oh, oh, come look at this. I'm making a custom map that has different rooms where if you answer a question wrong, you have to fight a bunch of mobs. Honey, like I understand any of that. Why do you want to be inside all day? You should be hanging out with your friends. I'm hanging out with my friends. Online. Oh, on Discord. Uh -huh. I mean, hanging out with them in real life. Or I don't know, maybe go outside and get some sun. If you even remember what that is. Nah, I'd rather do this. I don't understand this generation. Playing video games all day is not gonna take you anywhere. That's not true. I'm learning lots of skills. Plus, there are so many ways to make money from Minecraft. I could set up my own server, stream on Twitch, have a Patreon account? I wonder if you're even speaking English sometimes. 
Well, my friend Sam's older brother's 22, and he doesn't even have to work. He gets so much money from donations from his subs. Well, that's great for him, but you don't. So come on, turn this game off. No, uh, can I finish this map? <sighs> you kids are really driving me crazy today, you know that? <sighs> Please. Fine, but one more hour, tops. Just a sec, I wanna host my own Minecraft server. Can I buy a Minecraft Realm subscription? Absolutely not. Your dad and I cannot afford another subscription. We may have to cancel one we have. What if you take it out of my allowance? I said no. You play enough of this game as it is. Your dad and I can't afford another subscription, so finish up whatever it is you're doing, because I almost have dinner ready. Hey, Kylie, do you want to come help me out? Uh, sorry, Mom, but I'm in the middle of a game. Why can't I have one kid whose eyes aren't completely glued to their screen? Your guys' eyes are so stuck on those screens that I'm gonna need this spatula to peel them off. I'm playtesting a new alpha. Alpha schmalpha, okay? It was a beautiful day and not a single one of you cared to go outside. I went outside. I played with my tablet in the backyard. Oh, come on, Kylie. That does not count. What's the big deal? I wanna be a video game tester. I already have a bunch of credits on people's games. Why don't you want to do something that's, that's more productive? This is productive. Here, let me show you. You know, no, okay, I don't need to see anything. Dinner will be ready in 10 minutes, and no electronics after that. Okay, I'll be in my room. Just call me when it's ready. And don't bring that thing back to the table. Did you hear me? Dinner's ready. Kylie, I said no electronics at the table. But I just gotta finish this one last thing. iPad, now. Just give me five more minutes. I am not gonna ask you again. Ethan, dinner is ready, get off the TV. Okay, just a couple more blocks. No more blocks, you have had plenty of time. Well, where's your brother? Jared, Jared, that boy. I have been calling for you. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had my headphones on. Can I please just eat in here? I'm on a roll. You know the answer to that. Now come on. Jared! You know what, you kids? I've had enough of this. What are you doing? No more computer, and I am taking this. Why did you do that? I don't even know if it auto saved. I don't! Care. Now come down to dinner. Can I please have it back? No, and Kylie, are you seriously on that thing already? I was just waiting for everyone else to get here. I am not going to deal with this anymore. Now where you've got to be kidding me. Mom, what are you doing? Mom, come on, please give it back. Yeah, why are you taking everything away? We didn't do anything wrong. Enough is enough. Okay, there is more to life than sitting around all day playing video games and being on your electronics. And I gave you plenty of chances and you ruined it. Mom, can we please have our stuff back after dinner? No, I'm taking it away until school is over because we waste so much money on your devices and games and, and subscriptions and whatever. So I'm cutting you off. What? You can't do this to us. You know what? You will thank me when you're older. And you will tell me I am right. Now, we're gonna sit down and have a nice family dinner together. How can we enjoy it when you took away everything we've been working on? You don't understand. You're too young. Well, maybe you're the one that doesn't understand. Don't you dare talk back to me like that, young man. Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> so no one's excited to see me? What's wrong? They won't listen to me. All they want to do all day long is play their video games and do nothing productive. That's not true. We did our chores. Yeah, and all of our homework. And we are being productive. Mom just doesn't want to understand. Okay, let's just calm down. Tell mom what she's doing isn't fair. 
I am not gonna tell mom that. No, if she says no electronics, then no electronics. I think you guys can survive for one meal without them. Oh, it's gonna be a lot longer than that. This isn't fair. I'm eating in my room. Me too. Yeah, me three. This generation just thinks they're so much smarter than us. It'll be okay. Looks good. Thank you. Thanks, raising our interest rate. Mortgage is going up. What? No! Can they do that again? Yeah, once a year. Our loan's not fixed. Well, how did your meeting with Jamie go? Did you get that promotion? No, I just got more work. Ironic. Well, I guess we're not taking that trip to Hawaii this summer, which I was really looking forward to. I mean, we haven't traveled since our honeymoon. It's just with the mortgage payments and the car payments and the... All the kids' subscriptions. It's hard to get by. Just imagine when tuition starts. Uh, well, maybe by then they'll be paying for themselves. Huh. And then you and I can travel wherever we want. <laughs> I can't doubt that. I just, I feel like they're throwing their lives away right now. And anytime I try to help them, they just, they hate me for it. They don't hate you. Oh, it's easy for you to say, Lewis. You're not the one who took away their precious devices. Well, maybe we could work on being a little bit more open-minded. About what? About what they want. Jared really wants to be a game developer. And, and, and Ethan, he's always playing with those block thingies. Kylie loves testing games. I think that they're really working towards something. That is not working. That's wasting time and money. We are barely getting by and they just keep racking up all of these credit card charges. When we were kids, our parents paid for sports leagues and camps. It's not the dance. same. We were outside socializing. They just want to be inside online all day. Seems to me that they're still learning something. They could be out on the streets learning horrible habits. Are you actually siding with the kids right now? No, honey, I'm just trying to say that I think the times have changed and maybe we could stop discouraging their dreams and start supporting them. Because when people follow their passions, it always leads to success. So, you know, what do you think? I think it's time to go to bed. Ethan, I never see you in here. Yeah, my mom took away my Xbox controller. It's the only way I can play now. No, you're not allowed to play in here, right? No one's gonna find out. I'm just finishing this map I've been working on. Thank you. Ethan, there's no computer games at school. But, but Mrs. Green. This isn't up for debate. Close the game now. What's up with adults not letting us kids do what we want to do? Sucks. Guess that means we won't be playing in the Minecraft tournament this weekend, huh? Tournament? What tournament? Oh, it's a contest to see who can build the best adventure map in 30 minutes. And it takes place on the judge's server, rules are on the Discord, winner takes 500 bucks. Dude, you gotta send me that link. Okay. But how are you going to play if your mom took away your controller? It's for 500 bucks. There's no way she's gonna say no. Wait, so your mom won't let you use FaceTime? What if I want to call you? Nope, she took everything away. I've been going crazy. Actually, can I see yours for a sec? I just need to check my messages on Discord. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, Mom. Hey, Kylie. Hi, Miss Davis. Ready to go home? Yeah, just one sec. Kylie's borrowing my tablet. I I'm just about done. Kylie! Where did you get that? It's not mine, it's Lauren. She's letting me borrow it. Well, give it back. You should know better. <laughs> so sorry about that, Summer. She's addicted to that thing, so I had to take it away. I mean, I'm sure you go through that, too. Really? I don't mind her being on it. Ever since we got Lauren a tablet for Christmas, she's been playing games and gotten better at her grades. She went from a C to a B-plus in math. Oh, actually, it's an A-minus now. <gasps> it went up. Really? Wow. Great job, honey. <laughs> it was good seeing you, Kathy. Good. 
See, Mom, Lauren's mom wants to be on her tablet. Yeah, well, I'm not Lauren's mom. Mom! Mom, there's this Minecraft tournament this weekend. I told you, I do not want to hear about these video games anymore. You know the rules. Now, come on. Why does she have to be so mean? See? See how peaceful this can be without any of your electronics? <laughs> More like quiet and boring. I don't feel like pasta. Why do we always have to eat at home? Why can't we just go out to eat? Honey, it's... It's just too expensive, okay? So just eat your food. Can we at least just play some music? I can't connect to the speaker without my tablet. Oh, my Xbox doesn't have Spotify. Okay, can you not talk about your electronics for like two seconds? Mom, I want her into the tournament. Please. I said no, and that's final. Mom, oh, come on. on. I'm not going to talk to you about this again. I have said that we are not going to do this. Why should I? I just get this now. We're not going to do this. We're not doing this. Can I please come home once and there not be an argument? They won't stop complaining about not getting their devices back. Dad, there's this tournament in Minecraft this weekend and I think I can win. Can you please tell mom to let me enter? No, your dad is not gonna go around me, okay? I'm not gonna let you waste any more of your time on this video game. It's not a waste of time. The grand prize is $500. If I win, I'll be able to finish my map. And I could give Jared Robux so we can hire someone to finish this game. And Kylie will play test so we can make everything perfect. Yeah, come on, Mom. Come on, yeah. Mom. You can't say no to that. No! No! I'm done dealing with this video game nonsense. Okay? Louis, you make the decision for once. Well, how about we compromise? Excuse me? Let's give Ethan the opportunity to prove that playing Minecraft can actually pay off. If he wins, the kids get their devices back. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. We yeah, can't say no to that. It's a fair deal. Okay, okay. Fine. But if you lose, that's it. No more devices until school's out, and no complaining from any of you. But that's like two months away. Do we have a deal? Well, I guess we have nothing to lose. Deal. Okay. You take a seat. No, I will make you a plate. You better win. Yeah. Watch, I programmed this button to open up this spot in the wall using a sticky piston. Oh, uh, 30 seconds left. Uh, just a few more finishing touches, and I think I got this. Am I missing anything? Uh, did you finish the redstone circuit in the last chamber? Uh, yeah, I did that. You put the arrows in all of the dispensers and set the tripwires, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, did you place the mob spawner under the trapdoor? Oh, that's it. Thanks, Kylie. Yes, yes, just in time. Yes. Switch over to Discord. How are you going to know if you won? The judges were just in spectator mode. It should be only be a few more minutes. Yes. Wait, look. To... They're announcing the winners right now. The moderator said this has to be the best map we've seen in any competition. And the winner is... Place 2009! Yes! Yes! Yes, let's go! Oh, this is awesome! What is going on? Ethan, Ethan won! Really? Congratulations! Like, actually. Like, you got the money. Oh, they just asked to DM him your Remo so they can pay us. Yes, I can finally get my Robux! <laughs> I can get my tablet back, right, Mom? Well, a deal is a deal, but you have to promise this will not interfere with school. We promise. Have fun. Kathy keeps her promise and gives the kids their electronics back. From that day forward, whenever she feels like saying something, she instead bites her tongue and lets the kids play their games. A few years pass, and the kids slowly move out of the house and go off to college. One by one, Kathy and Lewis say goodbye to their kids. As time goes on, the kids stay passionate about what they want to do with their lives. It turns out they really weren't wasting their time after all.
And then one day, the parents get a big surprise. You're not going to believe this. Hmm. Another interest rate hike. Oh, how much is it this time? 4.75%. I just don't know how we're supposed to keep up. Have you heard from the kids today? No. Oh, I miss them. Do you think we could fly out and see all of them? I mean, it's been such a long time. They all just live so far apart. I don't think we have the funds right now. Maybe over the holidays? Oh, honey, but that's months from now. Okay. Hi, Dad! Hey. <laughs> oh, my God! We, we, we were just talking about you. Hi, Mom! Hi, Mom! Hi. Oh, what a surprise! Oh! Why didn't you guys tell me you were coming? I, I would have cooked something. We wanted to surprise you. Oh, well, well come in. Oh, this is just the best surprise ever. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Thank you, Dad. Well, so it's been so lonely around here with just your dad and I. Uh, you sure I can't make you something? Actually, we were thinking of taking you guys to your favorite restaurant tonight. Oh, do you buy so? <laughs> you don't need to do that. It's too expensive. Mom, don't worry about it. It's on us. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we're all doing pretty well for ourselves now. And that brings us to our next surprise. Tell them, Ethan. Tell us what? Mom. Dad. We know how hard you guys both work to give us everything we wanted. So... We want to pay it back for you guys. No, 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 no. You guys don't owe us anything. Just having you here right now, that's plenty. Oh, and taking us out to dinner? What more could I want? <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a few things. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You know that new game that we were working on together? The one that started off as Ethan's senior project? Yeah. Well, we kept working on it together, and just last week... I got an email from a video game company, and, um... They want to buy the game from us! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh this is incredible! So, with all the money that we made, Jared and I would like to pay off the mortgage. I, I don't know. And I would like to pay off. Plus, since you guys never get to go anywhere, we want to send you guys to Hawaii. No, 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 no we can't accept that. That's too much. No, Dad, come on. No, you, you do not need to spend all of your money on us. Oh, trust us. They were super generous with their offer. How much did you sell this game for? Let's just say, quite a lot. <laughs> and to think, all those years ago, I was trying to get you all to quit playing video games. <laughs> Good thing we started supporting them. You're right. Because you said, when you follow your passion, you will always be successful. I'm so proud of you. I just can't believe how good you guys are being to us. You're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so what are you guys most excited about? Oh, well, for your dad, it's the mortgage, for sure. <laughs> I'm really excited about Hawaii, but I'm only going on one condition. What's that? That all of you come with us. Mm? Come on. You guys are where our real happiness is. Beta testing. I know. It's just, it's a lot. Yeah, of oh course. Here you go. <laughs> to oh. Hawaii. Oh, to Hawaii. <laughs> I'm just so excited. This is such a dream come true. Me too. <laughs> oh, Mom, can I have my tablet? I think I left it in your purse. Yeah, of course. Although, do you really think you should be glued to your tablet the whole time? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Although, really, I don't want to see you on that thing the whole time we're in home. Mom. Sorry. Sorry? Old habits die hard. 
Huh. Where are the little rascals? Oh, they were just here literally a second ago. Fire! Oh, Kendall! Tyler, that is not how you greet our guests. Please apologize to your Uncle Jake right now. We're sorry. Deja's right, you know, you should be sorry. Sorry for starting a war! <laughs> the Three Musketeers looks like nothing has changed and my little bro is still one big kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Speaking of changes, has Jake gotten any closer to, you know? Who knows? 12 years and counting, and he keeps saying he's gonna propose once his music career takes off? Oof. I don't know, I might be waiting forever. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. What's for dinner? I'm so hungry. I brought donuts for dessert, because I know how much you love them, Molly. <laughs> oh, thank you, you're so thoughtful. <laughs> what in don't ask. It's the only way they eat spaghetti. <laughs> Huh. So, Jake, how's work going? Are you still attempting at that warehousing company? No way, Jose. That was like three jobs ago. Yeah, stocking shelves is way beneath me. Mm-hmm. What? If it were up to you, I'd still be a corporate slave with no time to work on my music. Honey, you know how close I am to finishing up my demo for the record labels. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to be unsupportive of your music, but you got to grow up sometime, man. He's right. And the only way to grow is by taking responsibility. <laughs> okay, well, if that's what taking responsibility looks like, I think I'm good. Well, I mean, I'm trying out for the basketball team at school, so... Yeah, nice. she's been practicing day and night. And Tyler's been working on getting his grades up since his report card came back with some interesting letters. Yes. Don't worry, buddy. I didn't do that well in school either. And uh, look how well I turned out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on. Are you what? kidding? What? What? In some cultures, that's considered a compliment. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot the PTA meeting is tonight. We have to be at the school in 30 minutes. Come on, we missed the last one. We really can't miss another one. Well, we don't mind watching the kids if you guys gotta go. Wait, what? Molly, no, 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 I'm not a, I'm not a babysitter, okay? And I was supposed to record tonight. We want you, Uncle Jake. Yeah, please! <laughs> Dad do? Work at 7-Eleven? Where are they? They were supposed to be back like an hour ago. It's so rude not to at least call. Finally. What was there, keys or something? I'll take you guys so... Is this the residence of Madam Deja Shepherd? Yeah. We are gathered here today to celebrate the lives of Matthew and Deja Shepherd, beloved friends, loved ones, and parents. They were taken from us too soon. Thanks for coming by on such short notice. And I am uh, truly sorry for your loss. Looks like the will that Matt and Deja had drawn up a few years ago names you as Tyle and Kendall's guardian in case anything should ever happen to you. There's no way. I don't know, I, I can't take care of two kids. We already planned the funeral, that's more than enough. Only other alternative would be to turn them over to the state, and they would be put in foster care. N no, <laughs> that's not happening. We're going to take them. Thank 
Hey, I know it's not as big as what you're used to, but until we find something bigger, you guys can stay in the bedroom and Jake and I will take an air mattress out here, okay? Make yourselves at home. Whoa, buddy, hey, hey, not there. No one touches my music station, got it? My demo was on there. Can I get you guys anything? Hey. Anybody up for a Nerf war? Give us a sec. Actually. Where were you? The kids were waiting at school for over an hour. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'm sorry. You forgot? What if I couldn't answer my phone? What if I was stuck in a meeting? What would have happened? How did the meeting with the realtor go? Um, I canceled it. You what? Why would you do that? We can't all fit in this apartment, Jake. We have to get a bigger place. Just, just give me a sec to explain, okay? I also quit my job because... Again? You've only been there three weeks. I know, I know. But honey, that's only because I got a meeting with an exec who wants to hear my demo next week, honey. Mm -hmm. If, when that meeting goes well, not only will I never have to work, but we can buy a house, Molly. I mean, forget about renting. Plus, I'll be able to, to... Spend more time with the kids and take care of them? No, no, the, the, the opposite, actually. <laughs> if my music gets picked up, I'll have even less time. So who's gonna take care of Kendall and Tyler? I don't know, I, I didn't think about that. Mm. Of course. Molly. I was in a really good mood. Before you came in here and ruined everything, I didn't ask for this responsibility. Oh, and you think I did? You know what? I gotta go to work because some people take their responsibilities seriously. Hey, Uncle Jake. Do you have time to help me out with basketball tryouts? Yeah, and when you're done, can you please help me study for my history homework? Not now, guys. But dad always helps. Well, I'm not your dad, okay? <sighs> what is all that racket? Kendall, what are you doing playing with that in the apartment? You could break something. And Tyler, what'd I say about my laptop? I have a history paper. I have to research I don't care what you're supposed to research. My demo is on there. Now give it. But if I don't research this, it'll fail. I failed history in school and the world didn't end. Now give it. Oh. My demo. It's ruined. Do you realize? much work I put into this. It was gonna be what finally got me a record deal, and I have no other backup. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be mad, Uncle Jake. Everyone makes mistakes. The only mistake I made was agreeing to taking care of you two. Now pack your bags. I'm doing what I should have done in the first place. Finding someone who can actually take care of you. Who wants to take care of you. You're all we have left. Mom and Dad, you- I don't know what your parents were thinking. Okay, Kendall, I'm not your dad, and you're not my kids. And I'm definitely not ready for all the responsibility that comes with that. Now hurry up. Go! Move! Please, Uncle Jake. 
We promise we'll be better. I'll never touch your laptop ever again. Yeah, and I don't even have to try out for the basketball team if he makes you that mad. I'm sorry, guys, but I just wasn't cut out for this. I didn't sign up to be a dad. Look, it doesn't mean we can't still see each other. I can still visit you sometimes and be your Uncle Jake. Yeah, don't bother. You're not the person I thought you were. Come on, Tyler. What happened to your laptop? I found it on the floor and it wasn't turning on, but then I fixed it, so it works now. <laughs> are you serious? Mm, yeah. Where are the kids? I'm making pasta. <clears throat> They're not coming. What do you mean? Uh, don't get mad. But I dropped them off at CPS. You what? I had to. All their stuff lying around everywhere, using my things without asking. They were causing fights between us, Molly. Tyler even broke my laptop. Or at least I thought he did. They were ruining our lives, Molly. And what about their lives, Jake? They just lost their parents, your brother and sister-in-law. And what, you just threw them away? Like you do everything else? What is that supposed to mean? You can't commit to anything. You refuse to hold down a job, you refuse to get rid of this apartment and let go of your bachelor pad, and you know what? After all this time, you won't even propose to me. I told you, I'm just waiting for my music career to take oh, off, and then I'll buy you the biggest- It's been 12 years, Jake. It's never gonna take off. You know what? Neither is this relationship. You don't mean that. I do. I can't do this anymore. I can't. What? No. Molly, you can't just leave me like that. You can't just leave me like that! So what do you think? Listen. Music's good. But if I'm being honest, this isn't the sort of thing that I'm looking for right now. I'm sorry. But hey, at least you still got your day job, right?
Seriously? Nice work, Tyler. Woo! <laughs> you know what? I think this is fridge worthy. <gasps> miss her, don't you? Why don't you try calling or texting her? I have, but she won't, uh... Sorry, guys, I, <clears throat> I just need a minute. Wait, I have an idea. Come on. Hey. Guys, you said it was an emergency. Is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to use the kids, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Please, have a seat. You have three minutes. What's up? Well, first, I'd like to tell you that other than having the kids already, I got a job. I've already been there for two months, going on three. And I even have my own business card. See? Hmm. I thought you said stocking shelves was beneath you. Well, technically, I'm not stocking shelves since I'm the warehouse manager. But even if I was, that'd be fine, too, because I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Well, so who's picking up the kids while you're at work? It's such a long commute. Actually, it's not that far anymore because we moved. I've got a much nicer place now. You let go of the bachelor pad. <laughs> wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> Can't believe you're making all these changes. Well, it took some time to adjust. You know, I may not have the rock star lifestyle that I imagined or the dream house. And it does take a lot of work taking care of two kids. Yeah. But at some point, I realized that I have to grow up. And as a wise person once told me, if you want to grow, you have to take responsibility. Wow. I'm really happy for you, Jake. Is there anything else you needed to say? Yeah. Molly, I have the job. I got the house. I even have the kids. But there is one thing missing. And that is you. Ghost riding at a hot mileage, you're the best pilot around. I love when you smile and going 85. We catch the sunrise, we're here now. We going high. Molly Elizabeth Miller. I know that it's taken me a long time to get here, but there is no one that I'd rather go on this crazy adventure of life with than you. You complete me. And this family. So, will you marry me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, it's, I know it's not a ring. I spent all my money on our new house, but I promise you, as a new Jake, I will get you your dream ring one day soon. But in the meantime, I hope this is okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but only because I love donuts. <laughs> really? You're just gonna eat my ring? I love donuts. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I got? Whoa! 
98%. I'm so proud of you, Michelle. Thanks. You know what? I'm going to hang this on the fridge right next to all your other achievements. Oh, great. I'm gonna put my stuff down. Uh-uh. Were you just going to walk past me without even saying hello? Sorry, Mom. I'm just really tired. I'm gonna go take a nap if that's okay. Maybe if you slept at night instead of staying up wasting time, you wouldn't be so tired. Working on my art isn't wasting time. Wait, what about your math test? Uh, yeah, about that. Um, I need you to sign this. You failed another test? It was really hard. Well, your sister just got an A+, plus, so it couldn't have been that hard. What's your excuse? Exactly. Why can't you be more like Michelle? M math just isn't my subject. Neither is any other class in Sims. You know the rules. No, I'm not doing that. If you want to give me a thousand dollars and pay for it yourself, you can do that. Otherwise, it's mine. It just sucks. If you just apply to yourself like your sister, then this wouldn't be happening. Just because I don't get good grades like her doesn't mean I don't apply myself. I'm just passionate about other things. Here we go. Let me ask you something. You think your drawing is going to pay the bills? You know how many broke, starving artists there are out there? That doesn't mean I'm going to be one. Gosh, Mom, I don't know why you always have to be so hard on me. Kimmy, ever since your father left, things haven't been easy, you know? Taking care of two girls by myself, we almost have $10,000 in credit card debt. I'm not trying to be unsupportive, but I do want you to be realistic. Um, what's going on in here? Mom took my phone away, again. If you pass your next test, you can get it back. So instead of napping, you should be studying. Now, tell me what you want me to make for dinner tonight. Anything you want, just name it. Um, how will we all go out tonight? That sounds even better. I mean, you and I. Kim is gonna stay home and study. Oh, it's you. I thought it was mom. How's studying going? Uh, it's going horribly. <laughs> I got you chicken parmesan, your favorite. You drew this? This is amazing. Thanks. I wish mom felt that way. Hey, don't let her get to you. She'll come around one day. I doubt it. Oh, check this out. Oh my goodness, you drew this? Yeah, and I've got a handful of others too. I'm launching my first NFT tomorrow and selling it online. I keep hearing about those, but I don't quite know what they are, but I'm sure it'll do great. <laughs> Thanks, I'm so excited. So this is what you've been doing. No, I was just showing Michelle something really quick. Yeah, I asked her to see it. Mm -hmm. I was studying right before she walked in. Right, and by studying, you mean making your silly little drawings inside of your book. You haven't even taken a single note? How are your grades ever gonna improve if this is all you do? Please, I don't need another lecture. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm taking your laptop. What? No, I need that. For what? When I bought it for you, you said you need it for school. Clearly all you do is waste time on it. That's not true, I do use it for school. You can have your laptop and your phone back after your grades improve. You don't understand. I'm selling my art online tomorrow. I need that back. I don't understand where I went wrong with you. Michelle does everything perfectly and you are just a constant screw up. Don't say that to her. It's the truth. Get out of my room. I want to be alone. 
One day when you're older, you'll say, Mom, you are right. Please get out. Hey, I just want to be alone right now. Please. I'm just worried if she doesn't get her grades up that she may not graduate. I know, trust me, I know. I took away her cell phone and a laptop. I'm doing everything I can to make sure she studies. I don't know why you're talking about me as if I'm not sitting right here. Well, go ahead and speak up then. Why aren't you passing, huh? Kimmy, we're a college prep school. The last time we had a student who didn't graduate was three years ago. I don't want you to be the next one. I'm just not very good at school. Well, I noticed that you're getting an A in art, and that's great. How do we get you to do that in other classes? Do you mind giving your mother and I a moment? Normally in these situations, we'd look to see if there was an issue at home, but Michelle's grades are outstanding, so it can't be that. Exactly. I wish Kimmy could be more like her sister. I'm not sure if you heard, but there's a good chance Michelle will end up being the valedictorian. She brings great honor to this school. That's my angel. She makes me so proud. All right, well, hopefully you'll be able to get through to Kimmy. Thanks for coming in. Of course, and thank you for your patience. Have a nice day. We'll keep up the amazing work. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, I don't believe we met. I'm the new art teacher. You must be Kimmy's mom. Yes, hello. I can't say I've ever met someone as young and talented as Kimmy before. <gasps> yeah, well, I wish we could say that about all our classes, not just the art. Ah, uh, is she not doing as well in other classes? I'm sorry to hear that, but don't be too hard on her. Why not? I was thinking I need to be harder. Situations like this always remind me of my favorite quote by Albert Einstein. He said, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. I love that. I'll see you in class tomorrow. It was nice meeting you. D did you hear what she said? Nonsense. <laughs> what does she know? She's just an art teacher. Hey, Kimmy, are you still launching your NFT today? Uh, I don't if know. If so, you should totally list your artwork on OpenSea. No way, it's way too hard to get approved on that site. You should try Rarible. She's not going to be drawing anymore. She needs to focus on her classes. Oh, okay. But mom, I just- I don't want you wasting any more time. I'm serious. I'm not going to have you embarrassing me and this school by not graduating. Now, come on, let's go home. I don't want to talk to you, Mom. Leave me alone. It's me. You all right? I mean, no. I was supposed to launch my art project today, but now I can't because I don't have Here. a lot. You can use mine. All your files are on cloud, right? Yeah. Well then, what are you waiting for? Thanks, sis. You're welcome. Good luck. Kimmy ends up turning her artwork into an NFT and listing it in an online auction. She starts the bidding process at half an Ethereum. After excitedly refreshing the next morning, she comes to realize that not a single person bid on her artwork. She starts to feel really disappointed. As time goes on, nothing changes. Not a single person wanted to buy it. Kimmy starts to feel really discouraged. Over time, she even considers giving up on her passion. 
Some say how you market your art is just as important as the art itself. Take Beeple, for instance. Is he the best artist or just the best marketer? For sure, the best marketer. Lots of people would agree with you. It's unbelievable how much the art industry changed ever since he sold his digital art for $69 million. Many artists like him are starting to catch big breaks. Not me. What's that, Kimmy? Uh, <laughs> nothing. I heard you listed some art online. How'd your launch go? Not great. I'm sorry to hear that. Hang in there. All great things take time. To be honest, I'm not so sure how much more time I should be spending on this. I mean, yeah, sure, some people make it big, but do you know how many broke, starving artists are out there? That is true, but that can pretty much be said about any field. Where's all this coming from? I spent so much time listing my first piece, and not one person bid on it. It was a complete waste of time. What site did you put it on? NFT land. Okay, first off, no one uses that site anymore. I'm definitely not surprised it didn't get any bids. How did you promote it? I didn't. I just posted it and thought people would bid on it. Girl, that's not how it works. You gotta hype it up, create buzz online. Go on blogs, start a thread on Reddit. Post it on Instagram. I have like 50 followers. That's all right. I know tons of NFT pages with big followings. If I asked them, I'd bet they post about it. Really? With how good your work is? For sure. Yeah, and I can help push it on Reddit. One of my friends on the podcast. I can see if he'll talk about it. You do that for me? Definitely, I love your stuff. You see, Kim? You're proving the whole point I was trying to make for today's lecture. I mean, I guess we'll see. Kimmy is once again excited to list her art online. She meets with friends who help her list her art on a more popular NFT marketplace. They guide her through every step of the process. A few days later, she ends up doing a podcast to help promote her new launch. Her friends even help get different social media accounts to help create buzz. Kimmy couldn't believe how much support she was getting. And then, a few days later, her mom is about to get a big surprise. You're not gonna believe this. Oh, don't tell me. Another 98%? No. No, 99%? Yep. I'm so proud of you, honey. <laughs> Thanks. Pretty soon, we're gonna run out of room on the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm gonna drop off my stuff. Well, please tell me you at least passed. I did better than last time. That's a positive. A C minus? I, I, I thought you'd be happy. Your sister just got a 99% and you want me to be happy with your C minus. Whatever, can I just have my phone back? I said you had to pass. A C minus does not cut it. Yes, it does. Anything better than a D is considered passing. Not in my eyes. Fine. Here's a thousand bucks. So can I please get my phone back now? Where in the world did you get all this money? Let's just say that my little art passion paid off. Well, I must say, I'm shocked. If you wanna spend all your money on a phone, be my guest. But don't think you're getting your laptop back until- And this is for my laptop. So, next time you can't take my stuff away again. How much is this? It's not a thousand, you can count it if you like. You made $2,000 selling art? She made a lot more than that. You didn't tell her yet? Not yet. Told me what? There's a lot of articles about it online. Kimmy sold five art pieces for $20,000. No, I don't believe this. That can't be possible. You can look it up if you like. 
But first, you should log into your credit card. Why? Okay. You... You paid off my credit card? Yeah. So now you don't have to stress anymore. Oh my gosh, Kimmy. I don't know what to say. Come here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, the school is calling. Hang on. Hello? No. I'm the one with straight A's, but you've made more in one week than I've ever made in my lifetime. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Thanks for calling Principal Stevens. Are you calling about Michelle being the valedictorian? You calling about Kimmy? No, I was actually just about to read the articles. Yes, I heard about her digital art. It really is amazing. You're right, she really has brought great honor to the school. Well, you know what they say, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it'll live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Thank you, I'll talk to you soon. Apparently, you're the talk of the town. <laughs> Kimmy, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Thanks, Mom. So, does this mean you support my art now? Absolutely! <laughs> I'm sorry for ever not believing in you, sweetheart. You know what? Why don't we all go out to dinner and celebrate? Sounds good to me. My treat. I was hoping you'd say that. What? I just got my credit card paid off. I'm not trying to rack up any new debt. <laughs> 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 yeah! Damien! Will you pick up your controller? This is the second time I've stepped on it! Sorry, Mom. What are you doing playing video games on a Monday? You should be out looking for a job! We have bills to pay, you know? But this is a job. I can make a lot of money as a gamer. I've, I've got a tournament tonight, and if I win that, I'll get paid a lot. Playing video games isn't a real job. You need a career, like becoming a doctor, or a lawyer, or an engineer. Guy on the roof. Broke his shield. Downed him. Ugh. I swear, I'm gonna break that game. Honey, it's okay. If that's what he wants to do, then we should support his dreams, right? Dreams don't pay the bills, Ron. What is this, Damien? Did you just put another Xbox charge on my credit card? I'm so sorry, Mom, but it's for the tournament tonight. I promise I'll pay you back. Pay me back with what? You don't even have a job. We're already $10,000 in credit card debt. We can't afford for you to put your stupid games on my credit card. Honey, it's okay. We'll figure it out. No, enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh. Mom, I was in the middle of a game. You are not playing any more video games until you get a real job. But I told you, this is a job. And it's my dream. I'm one of the best players in the league. Just give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. You are not gonna get anywhere in life by playing video games. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm taking your Xbox. No, please. I have a tournament tonight. I don't care. Hey, bud. You okay? No. I can't believe she took away my Xbox. All I've ever wanted to be is a gamer. It's like, it's like she doesn't even care. <sighs> of course she cares. She just doesn't understand that being a gamer is a real career now. Anyway, I have something that belongs to you. My Xbox? But why are you giving this back to me? 
because I always want you to follow your dreams. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> Good luck in your tournament. <laughs> oh, and don't tell your mom I gave that back to you. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Damien sets up his Xbox and gets ready to start the tournament. After an intense battle, he ends up getting first place and wins the grand prize. And then a few days later, his mom happens to come into his room. Damien, what are you doing? I told you, no more video games until you got a job. Oh, hey mom. Actually... And how in the world did you even get your Xbox back? That's it. This time I'm getting rid of it for good. We are behind in bills and you need to start helping out around here. Wait! We're not behind on bills anymore. What are you talking about? Just check your credit card statement. Please? Zero dollars? <laughs> but we were just $10,000 in debt. Not anymore, Mom. I paid it off. Remember that tournament I told you about? Well, I won, and they paid me $10,000. So you see, I used it to pay off your credit card debt. Oh my god. I can't believe this. And? I just signed a huge contract with an esports team. So you and Dad don't have to worry about bills ever again. I am so sorry that I didn't believe in you, honey. I, I should have been more supportive of your dreams. Will you ever forgive me? Of course. I love you so much, Mom. So, does this mean I get to keep my Xbox? On one condition. You teach me how to play that game so I become a gamer too. <laughs> so proud of you. Hey, hey Darman fam. So you see, we just got our brand new studio. I'm so excited to be in this new space. We're in the process of building our very own sets that we can film in. And I'm gonna give my YouTube fam an exclusive behind the scenes tour. That video is gonna be dropping real soon. Also, I'm really excited about our brand new merch that we've got coming out. We've got hoodies and t-shirts and hats with different slogans and different colors. It's all dropping on November 22nd and it's part of our holiday sale. <clears throat> so everything is gonna be discounted. Make sure you mark your calendars. Also on November 22nd, I'm super excited to tell you guys that we got our very first hour long holiday special. It's an hour long video all up in my comments. I've been seeing so many people comment, we want longer videos, we want longer videos. So I'm coming through for you guys. This holiday special, it's gonna be four stories that will completely change your life. And I'm gonna be bringing together some of your favorite actors so you can also get to know their personal stories. Make sure to mark your calendars. November 22nd, I'll be talking a lot more about it uh, in the time to come. And now let's go ahead and start today's new video. I'm in here. This is ridiculous. I am getting really tired of sharing a bathroom with your daughter. She's been in there forever. Caitlin will be out soon, I'm sure. Why is she still even living with you? She's 18. She should get her own place and move out. She's my daughter. I can't just kick her out, Angie. I can't believe this. Hey, honey. Why am I the one who has to do the dishes? Can't your daughter do them? Honey, it's just a few dishes. Last time I checked, 
I was your girlfriend, not her mother. Seriously, Richard, this is getting so frustrating. She shouldn't even be living with us. Okay, I will talk to her about it later. Morning. Morning, sweetheart. Oh, um, I'm sorry about the dishes. I was up late last night studying. I promise I'll do them next time. That's okay. Hey, you know, I was thinking that we all could- What are you say... doing? That's the last of the milk. I was gonna use it for my cereal. I, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. You can have the rest of mine. That's disgusting. You already drank from the cup. Okay, she didn't know. Stop trying to always defend her. I've had enough of this. You're always taking up the bathroom, you leave your dirty dishes in the sink, and now you want to drink the last of the milk? I can't live with her anymore. I want her out of this house right now, Richard. What? She said she was sorry. This is enough for debate. Either she goes, or I go. Angie, please. She's my daughter. Can we just talk about this first? I don't think you heard me, Richard. It's either her or me. I'm not going to ask again. gonna kick me out like that? I'm your daughter. Family should always come first. I can't believe you would choose her over me. Caitlin is heartbroken. She packs all of her stuff and starts to leave. Angie happily watches on as Richard sits there devastated. After some time and things settle down, their relationship seems to be going great. But as time goes on, Angie continues to find more reasons to keep getting upset at Richard. She begins to argue and fight with him all the time. Until finally, Angie ends up leaving Richard. He finds himself all alone, now without his girlfriend or his daughter. And then one day, Richard decides to pay his daughter a visit. Dad? Look, I just want to say that I am so sorry for everything that happened, I feel really bad. I, I don't understand. Where's Angie? We broke up. <clears throat> Turns out after you left, she still kept having problems with everything. I know now that I should have chosen you because family always comes first. Please forgive me. Well, I'm glad you realized that. And yes, I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> so you want to move in with me? <laughs> I, I promise you can have as long as you need in the bathroom and you can always have the last of the milk, okay? I won't say anything. <laughs> yeah, Dad. I would love that. Um, I'm Emery. I'm here to see Chris. We matched on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, um, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Well, is he here? Can I come in? Wait outside. Ai đó? Chẳng biết, cái nhỏ mi trắng nào đang kiếm cường. Why is there some white girl out there saying you're going on a date with her? Emery's here? 
Gung, what are you doing? Chris. I go by Chris. Whatever. You're not going on a date with her, man. You should be going out with a nice Vietnamese girl. But Emery and I have a lot in common. Unlike you and Hua. Hey, I'm your older brother, okay? Have some respect. Last time I checked, you're living here for free, man. I know. Okay, you, you remind me every day. Hey, okay, look. I can introduce you to some nice Vietnamese girls. Yeah, uh, no thanks. Hey, I don't need my brother playing matchmaker for me. Why not? Mom and Dad introduced me to Hua. We've been married now for two years. Yeah, and you've been miserable for two years. She's a perfect wife. And by perfect wife, you mean she's Vietnamese, is Catholic, can cook, and does everything you say? Hey, madam, you don't have to do it. fine, yeah. But you don't know. You don't even have a job or money. Maybe you should focus on that instead of wasting your time on these dates. I'm telling you, you're not going to get serious with her. Do you understand me? Can I go now? You didn't even tie your tie right. I don't know how. Can you do it for me? You don't need to be wearing one. Like I said, it's not that serious. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. Wow, you, uh, you look great. Thank you, so do you. No way. <laughs> yes way. I was a very chubby child, okay? Now, please stop laughing at my five-year-old self's expense. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Okay, all right, in all seriousness, I was chubby growing up as a kid as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, my parents used to make me squat sacks of rice to lose weight. No. That's a immigrant parents 101 for you. Mm -hmm. I've always felt like an outsider. I appreciate my culture and all, but I can never get into it the way that my brother did. Yeah. I've always been the black sheep, I guess. So what about you? What, what, what are your parents like? Oh, um, I don't know. I grew up in foster care. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's totally fine. I just, I get what you're saying. You know, going from foster home to foster home, trying to find a place that I fit. It's weird when you feel like you're supposed to fit into a family or something, but you just don't. Yes. Yes, that, that's exactly how I feel. To be honest, I feel more at home with you than even at my own house. That's really sweet. You two are the cutest couple. <laughs> how long have you been together? Oh, uh, it's actually our first date. <laughs> Well, you could have fooled me. Here's the check whenever you guys are ready. Thank you, man. Uh, hey, this is kind of embarrassing, but I was wondering if you'd be okay with splitting the check. I'm still finding steady work right now. So. Oh, don't even worry about it. I got us. Are you sure? I... Chris, it doesn't matter. I know that some girls care about that stuff, but I don't. I just want to get to know you more. Okay. Thank, Thank God. God. Thank, Thank God, God for giving me you. <laughs> what? I can't believe you know this song. Are you kidding me? I love Kane Brown. He's my favorite. <laughs> wow. Uh, First, we have the same favorite book, and now we have the same choice in music. Um, I have a question, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Your brother didn't really seem to like me very much. Is that because... He wants me to date someone who's Vietnamese. I had a feeling. You know, I've never been against dating my own race but it is not the most important thing to me. 
My bro got married to make our parents happy. They're all the way back in Vietnam. Yeah. But I can't say he is. To me, love is love. No matter what you look like or where you came from. I like that. Do you know what I like? My donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely made the better choice. Nah, uh, here, yeah. let me try. <laughs> You're gonna regret it. How's it? Mm. Yeah? I stand corrected. You definitely chose the superior donut. I told you. <laughs> oh, I. Uh, you have a little. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's right. May I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. I had a lot of fun today. Maybe we could do it again sometime? Like, this weekend, maybe? I was hoping you'd see tomorrow. <laughs> okay, tomorrow works, too. <sighs> Have a good night. Good night. Em làm vợ cái kiểu như vậy, không biết nấu thì khó hả? Làm như em cậu ý cho thịt cháy. Em ngủ quên đi ăn lại em thôi. Thế em ngủ quên hả? Thì đương nhiên ăn phải lại em chứ. Ăn là chồng của em nè, coi nè, tốn tiền nè, đồ ăn chẳng ai ăn được nè. Đòi đi ăn ở nhà hàng. Hey, where you been at? You've been gone for hours. <sighs> I, I, I was with Emery. Um, is everything... Okay. Hey, you got a minute? Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm looking for a job. See? It's not about that. I just want to talk to you about your date. Hey, look. I know it might be fun dating a girl like that, but when you're getting serious, it's a whole other story. You're not going to be able to preserve traditions when you're, when you're dating a white girl. I appreciate it, but I'm not sure that Preserving traditions is as important to me as it is to you. Okay, why would you say that? Preserving tradition is an important part of who we are. It's part of our family history. I mean, if we don't do that, then our kids might not ever even know their own roots and culture. How does that not matter to you? It's not that I... Who is it? I don't know. Hello? Hi, am I speaking with Chris? Hi, yes, uh, who, who is this? Hi, Chris. This is Nurse Brian calling from SoCal General. We have an Emery Gerwig in our care. Oh my gosh, I, I, is she okay? Unfortunately, she was in a car accident and you are the last contact she had on her phone. So if you wouldn't mind coming down to the hospital and filling out some paperwork for us. I'm truly sorry, but the accident has left your girlfriend paralyzed from the waist down. Friends, uh, acquaintances really, they just met for the first time today. My mistake. I'll be back in a bit to check on it. Come on, let's go. You go ahead. I'm staying. No, you're not. Didn't you just hear the doctor? She's half paralyzed. And what's your point? She has no family. She needs me. I'm not leaving her. She's never gonna be able to walk again. Okay, I'm not gonna let you throw away your life for some girl you barely even know. Okay. If you stay, you need to imagine how hard it's gonna be. You know, taking care of her, day in and day out. You can barely take care of yourself. Is this what you want? Come on, let's go. I said I'm staying. You can go. And how are you gonna get home? I'll Uber. You don't have any money. Then I'll walk. You should just go, please. You're making a huge mistake.
So, what's your major? No, business and marketing, and then I... Hey, you didn't come home last night. Uh, sorry, I was at the... This is Tao. I told her all about you. Uh, this is my younger brother, Kung. Chris. I go by Chris. Hi. Hi. Anyways, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, are you gonna join us? Uh, we have a guest, after all. I'm pretty beat. Sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Hey, what was that? Dude, I know what you're trying to do, and I'm telling you right now, I'm not interested. Okay, you didn't even give her a chance. Like you gave Emery a chance? I'm not gonna continue having this back and forth with you, okay? I'm trying to stop you from ruining your life. What part of that don't you understand? Look, either you listen to me and stop talking to that Mikjang girl, or you can find a new place. You can't be serious. You're kicking me out? It's your call. What's it gonna be? Sao nó không ngon à? Em bị thích. Nhưng anh nghe em một con anh biết rồi. Nếu mà em không thích thì sao em kêu cái món này làm chi? Anh biết em không thích nhà hàng này rồi. Em nói hồi nào? Sao mà anh biết được? Nếu anh nghe em một con anh biết rồi. Thì ý của em là gì đây? Thôi đừng nói nữa. Hồi nào anh em nói hồi nào? Sao mà anh biết được? <cười> Sorry about them. Oh, I didn't even notice. Honestly, I'm so used to my parents arguing all the time, so this doesn't really faze me. Yeah. Are they both Vietnamese? Yeah. So, would you only date a Vietnamese guy? Um, yeah. What about you? Well, I, I believe in following your heart because wherever your heart is, there you will find your treasure. Uh, it, it's a quote from this book I love, The Alchemist. Have you ever read it? I don't think so. So what kind of music do you listen to? Vietnamese music. Cool. Uh, anything else? Um. Uh, sorry, uh, give me one second. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I just, um. It was delicious. What it tastes like? Your dessert, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I'm really sorry, but I can't do this. You seem like such a lovely girl and all, but I just, I can't. I'm sorry. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna go see Emery. Emery again? Do I need to remind you about seeing Look, her? Look, you can kick me out, Hong. I don't care anymore, all right? I mean, I haven't known her that long, but I, I really like her. Even if she isn't Vietnamese, to me, love is love, regardless of where you came from. Man, she can't even walk, for God's sakes. That's fine, too. I'm gonna pack my things up because I'm not gonna stop talking to her. Enjoy your food. see you again. I know. I'm sorry for not texting you back. <sighs> there was some stuff going on, but I'm here now. Look, you don't have to be here just because you feel bad for me. You know, like I said in my text, I'll completely understand. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to be here. I know this sounds insane, considering we only went on one day. stick things out and see where they go. It's like the quote. 
You can never escape from your heart, so it's better to... Listen to what it has to say. The Alchemist. That's one of my favorite quotes from the book, too. <laughs> well, okay then. Um, so what do you say? Shall we give this a shot? I'm up for the adventure if you are. <laughs> oh, so one teeny little problem. Oh. I may need a place to stay just for a little while until I find a job. I guess I could use the help around the house. <sighs> Hey! Boom shakalaka! Thank you! I know you want chocolate, so... Oh. Cheers! Cheers! Look, if you're trying to stop the wedding... Hey, hey, no, that's, that's... That's not why I'm here. I just came to say that, uh... I'm sorry. You're... Sorry? Yeah. You see... You know, after you left... Well, things didn't work out with Hua. So she ended up leaving. Oh, no, I... I didn't know. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. It's... You know, honestly, it's for the best. Yeah, all we did was just fight all day. You know, but with her leaving, it got me thinking about what you said. How, uh, how love is love. And I think you're right. I just got stuck on this idea of, like, preserving our culture because, you know, with dad and mom not around, I just didn't hey, want to disappoint. It's okay. We still have each other. I'm not gonna lie. I missed you, big bro. No matter how much of a pain in my butt you were. <laughs> Wait, how'd you find out about my wedding today? Your fiance. She sent me the invite. Oh, dude, I would have sent you an invite myself, but I, I didn't know that you'd come. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss this for the world. 
All right, let's fix this tie. Yeah. You know, this tie, it took me like two hours to you know, figure it out. You still trying to figure it out this time? Mm -hmm.